Hello YouTube, my name is Michael and welcome to Life on a Mobile Home Park. It's boring. Oh, fresh can. Every now and again I get people asking me, what's it like living on a mobile home park? I usually turn around and say, well, it's cheap living. But it's not But it's not all about the cheap living. Um, there's a load of pros and cons about living in a mobile home. One, yeah, it is cheap living. I only pay £94 a week in rent. And I'm on benefits. Uh, two, you gas, you gas, you buy a bottle of gas for 50, 50, 50 quid here, and it lasts last year for almost two months, that's almost 25 quid a month in gas. Your electric's a bit steeper, but what energy company don't fucking charge you food fucking tea? <coughs> so like on the site where I am, there's 26 vans, some new, some old. I'm in a fairly old, older van. It's like this one's, this van's due to get ripped off because I'm, I'm doing another van because a few issues which I've had with this one. I, because of it being a, a static home, the floors give way, which I have. I've got holes, I've got holes in my in my living room. Got holes in my bedroom. Definitely got a hole in the bathroom. I can see daylight through there. So my van is practically empty. It's like I'm staying. I'm li living in the front room at the moment until until this fucking like, new van turns up because I've got no bed in the bedroom. Literally, my whole van's empty, ready for this new van to come on. But my power was supposed to be shut off today, but that hasn't been done. Um. So I've I've had to transfer all my animals over to the new van. But yeah. So where where this site is, it's it is out in the sticks a little bit, so it is quiet. I do like the quiet life. Sorry about that, YouTube. My laptop decided to go to sleep. I've got guest meetings here, either Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. Sorry, she's got it straight away. Yeah, I guarantee. I guarantee a front holder. Guarantee. Yeah, I'll put. Yeah, thank God. Lol, where's she going? Yeah. I'll put March to a two-bedroom bungalow from the mental health thing. Yeah. Some get it all done, mate. Well, yeah, yeah. That, there's there's a subject. We've got. Uh, and she has to only only has to pay ten a week. Yeah, she's bought brands at that. Yeah. And she put some of their white two beds, so she don't need it. And I put she's playing on it. I know it makes you sick doing it too, right? Maybe someone should drop her in it, doll. Yeah. Yeah, there's a subject for you. We've got a we've got a resident here who's moving moving up Monday or Tuesday. Uh, she she used to be she used to be a care assistant, but she got but she got chucked out of the job because because she was ill treat ill treating residents, and ever since that day she got chucked out of there. She played on a, she she's been playing on a mental illness. See, so mental illnesses and very nice to talk about but she plays on it I mean she plays on it she she's apparently with this mental health team which have got her a two-bedroom bungalow and she, only has to pay she, £10 and she only has yeah she only has to pay with 10 pound a week in rent and it's not, that's not fair. 
So what one person in two bedroom two bedroom property? When there's somebody out. When there could be a small fat a small family which need a house bet quick more than her because they're getting evicted. Or even I hate to say it, people are immigrating over to here and they need a property. It's it's not it's not fair it's not fair on the other on on everyone else. Look, right, yeah. I've had, <coughs> I've had things to, I've had, yeah I've, so it, it, I've there's the subject take my part my partner she she's Haki Aki put it she has got special needs she went to a special needs school but she is all there she knows what she's doing and things like that but she do, she doesn't play on it she doesn't need to play on it because her her illness is a genuine illness. Well, and then you take people like well, I call her Bob. So he's calling people, so he's giving out the names. But yeah, Bob. She smokes weed. She takes coke. Uh, what else? She drinks through the fucking. She drinks. She drinks through her tea. Can't put drink down her throat quick enough. She's got nothing wrong with her. It's like ESA. She wanted. She fucking asked me to help help her get more money from the ESA from ESA. Blagging her way through life, saying that she's got all these problems when she hasn't. Not being funny. I've got fucking more problems than what she fucking has. No, I've got more problems than what she fucking has. I could, I could turn, I'll, I'll turn, I'll but turn around and start playing on. Right, maybe someone should put her in it though. On, yeah, I know, and she can work. These people seem to get everything handed to them, and the likes of us have to fight and things all the time. And how's your bank getting up? But it is true though. Yeah, yeah, it is true. Why the fuck does she need a two bedroom bungalow? No, why the fuck is she getting everything handed to her on a fucking silver platter? When, pe when people like us who have got fucking, it's like our, va our van's falling to bits. We need a new, we need a new van. It's, it's, it's took my landlord almost a year and a half to realise that we need a new van. Which is, it's unfair. We've had to, we've had to fucking go for, a, go for a whole winter with holes in our floor. Frost fucking getting into the house. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's un, it's, it's unfair. It's unfair for the for the genuine person. It is very unfair when you got all these fucking benefit cheats. It's like, yeah, I've done, I've done my fucking fair share of fucking trying to cheat the system. It doesn't work. You do not get anywhere in life che trying to cheat the system. If you're honest enough, you will get somewhere in life. But life goes on. Yeah, she's mo yeah, she's moving off there next week, Monday, Tuesday. No, yeah, I, on a plate, it's fucking in, hi in hindsight, she should need to be fucking dobbed in because she has done work while while being on benefits. Yeah, she has. She's Christian. Christian. She was working. She was working in a pub while being on benefits. Anyone else done that? We get fucking out. Get our benefits san sanctioned or no? Our benefits get stopped, and we got to pay every single penny of it back, which is thousands. Yeah, but 
because they work it out from when you started getting benefits, not from the point where you they got caught. It's just a fucking, it's just a massive palaver. Yeah, I maybe maybe fucking carrying on about this, but it needs to be said. <clears throat> There's so many people out there who need things more than others, and they get pushed pushed aside. And I thought we were the United Kingdom. Is that first word, United. But hey, I'm not the Prime Minister. Well, I need some more. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a laugh. Mm, yeah, this is what I basically do all day just fucking sit down and smoke. I don't drink. I don't I don't do drugs. I used to do drugs. Not anymore though. I've been clean almost well, almost a year I've been clean out of drugs. Got more money I've got better things to spend my money on. Oh, I'm trying to say yeah. I'm trying to save up to get a fucking house. But trying to save up in this economy, damn right impossible. I can't get, I can't even get a fucking, I can't, I can't get no credit. So I can't get a credit card or a loan. Even trying to say, even trying to save the money up. It's non-existent because as soon as you get a couple of hundred fucking tucked away in a nest egg, so, so major, something major fucking happens, and you've got to use that nest egg. <clears throat> Life's unfair. Yeah, No, just tell her we're staying in this staying in this van until that new van turns up. Simple. I am not no, because I am not being stuck over at that other van. That's too small for us. Yeah, I know. And I'm you not to and sneak somewhere I know. Get it on that day. I know, and I'm gonna tell Fran, no, let fifteen up because that's in better condition than number seven. Why let us have the bet one which is in better condition? When that one could be let out to somebody else. Yeah. Somebody who's been on the streets for fucking years and they decide to say, fuck it, I need a roof. Yeah, I'm not I'm one of those guys, I'll let other people go in front of me. That's the way I got brought up. So every now and again, if people want help, I'll help them out as much as I can. Over the years, I've, I've fucking got, I've given out thousands of pounds and not wanted it back. It's only paper. It's only paper. That's but all it is. Fucking, we helped fucking Bob out <clears throat> and she fucking choked it back in our face. Hmm? What? Yeah, I, I'm off of her. Yeah, but not being funny, that was my fucking money. But yeah. Welcome to the life of living on a mobile home park, mobile home site. You've got some really nice people on here, but then you've got some, also got some really shit people on here as well. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, shit, get this video out, get it viral. 
I'm out. See you tomorrow.